magnetic field due to a current carrying circular coil. Soon after Orsted's discovery of magnetic effect of a current carrying wire, Ampere found that a loop of wire also had a magnetic field. In order to find the magnetic field due to a coil, it is held in a vertical plane and is made to pass through a smooth cardboard in such a way that the center O of the coil lies at the cardboard. A current is passed through the coil and iron filings are sprinkled on the cardboard. These iron filings arrange themselves in a pattern similar to one shown in the figure. An axial is shown in figure this pattern represents the magnetic field lies due to the coil. In order to find the direction of magnetic field lines, we plot the magnetic field with the help of a compass needle. The pattern of a magnetic field lines is obtained is shown in figure. From this pattern, the following important conclusions have been drawn. The magnetic field lines near the coil are nearly circular and concentric. This is due to the reason that the segments of the coil in contact with the board at the points A and B are all most like straight conductors. The direction of the field lines can also be found by applying right hand thumbs rule. The field lines are in the same direction in the space enclosed by the coil. Near the center of the coil, the magnetic lines are nearly straight and parallel. As such, the magnetic field at the center of the coil can be taken to be uniform. The direction of the magnetic field at the center is perpendicular to the plane of the coil. As we move towards the center of the coil, the strength of the magnetic field increases. Magnetic field is maximum at its center. This is due to the reason that the two magnetic fields one due to the semicircle segment of the coil through A and other due to the semicircle segment through B assist each other.